Hey, VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I'm back to do a quick, uh, it's kind of a recent finds video. Uh, only a couple of vinyl, and actually just a couple of, you know, kind of cheap dollar bin things, but good finds nonetheless. But just wanted to do a, a little VC love train that came in. Wanted to make sure that I, I said thank you to a couple people that sent me some really cool stuff. And, uh, and just show you just kind of some of the different things. Um, turn this down, so just in case. Um, just, just some of the music stuff I brought in my collection, period. So, just before I start, this is what's playing in the background. Just Crook Fingers. Forfeit and Fortunes. Just it's kind of a nice, interesting little piece. Um, it's actually on white vinyl, too. It's kind of neat, because I'm using not that, you know, up on colored vinyl. But uh, between the cover and the vinyl, it's actually it's a pretty good visual combination there. But... Anyway, just wanted to, like I said, share a couple of things. So let me start with, uh, let me do a BC Love Train first. I got this from Nick, actually. Uh, Nick's Lone 91 is the actual username. But this is a really cool piece that he sent me. It was a third place, this contest that ended a little while ago. It's just a, a nice 7-inch uh, new, new pornographers, which I really love. This is Georgia Don't You Know, Togetherness, and Electric Child of Witchcraft Rising. Really nice, it's one of the 45s that comes with a sleeve, which I think is always kind of cool. And uh, so that was, that was a really, really good piece. So Nick, I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you for doing the contest. Glad I was able to jump in and do a response. And thanks a lot for that very nice piece. The next one that I want to share, I'm sure you guys saw me do a video earlier, and I just, you know, said some stuff about Billy Crayoni earlier. And this is someone else in the VC that I'm clearly going to be sharing a huge love for the 80s with. Uh, and that's DJ Thunder 1970. Uh, his actual username. And um, one thing that's kind of cool is, you know, he was telling me how there's a lot of great soundtracks out there, and, you know, especially some 80s stuff, that maybe soundtracks weren't made of, of those or of those particular movies. Or uh, maybe there were a lot of good songs that, was, that were left off of them. So he kind of makes some of them himself, which was really cool. And one that he did and sent me, which was, I mean, I was so excited when I got this in the mail. It's the soundtrack from Spring Break, the movie Spring Break. Which, you know, I have the movie on VHS and I have the vinyl, which I actually found in the dollar bin, which was pretty nice. But uh, now to have it on CD, too, was, I mean, really, really awesome. So... Again, man, DJ Thunder, I can't thank you enough for sending this. You know, I put it right on my iPod. I've been listening to it left and right. So I mentioned to you about uh, the group Hot Date on here and how much I like them, especially that song, uh, I w or Do It To You. <laughs> Absolutely love it. But there's good stuff on it. You know, Cheap Trick and, uh, like I said, Hot Date, NRBQ. So a lot, a lot of different groups on there. Oh, shoot. If I don't drop the... That's why you have to have carpet in your music room. But yeah, I mean, really nice with the, the insert that he did. I mean, it was just really, really good. So I uh, really appreciate that, man. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that. That is a great album to have on CD. Uh, he also added in a few extras. I mean, going above and beyond, sending me that. But then he also sent, like, how many was that? Two, four, six, like seven extra CDs that he put together. Uh, one is... Just some other soundtracks like Ferris Bueller's Days Off, Tron, and a couple other things. And then he also sent uh, just kind of like a couple of, oh, the Goonies, I'm so sorry, that was also on there. Then he also just kind of did some mixes for me, just kind of some, uh, some electric mixes that he did. And I've listened to about one and a half of those so far. And the first one I listened to was the one that had a lot of that old funk stuff that I was just completely eating up. Um, but yeah, they've been great so far, man. I can't wait to get to the, the second CD on the electric mixes there, too. But I mean, that first one I listened to is absolutely great. So, uh, again, thank you so much. I appreciate all of those. I especially appreciate the spring break as well. Uh, now, just some other finds. I mean, there's some CDs I bought here that were in a quarter bin that I just kind of, you know, picked up and thought... You know, hey, for a quarter, I'll check them out, see if I might discover a new band that I like. And there's been some interesting stuff so far, but I'll, I'll kind of save those for later because a lot of them are just, uh, you know, like, well, you know, like Farce was one here. Um, 
end ever after, you know, just kind of some, some different stuff like that. So I'm still kind of checking all that out. Uh, a couple of you know Spanish ones that I picked up, but I think more of the stuff that people would know about here in the BC. Um, well, anyway, that's not even a fair statement for the BC because between all of us, we pretty much know just about everything. <laughs> uh, but here are some of the more common, if you will, CDs that I picked up. Number one, Luke Bryan. Yes, as you guys know, I love everything. And one thing that I've been catching on to a lot more lately, and I've always had a love for it, but it's really, really starting to draw me in a lot more now, is uh, more modern-day country. Uh, you know, Luke Bryan, Tim McGraw. I guess, you know, he's been around for a while and everything else, but still. Um, this is a really, really good CD. I mean, the I think what's been catching me about more the modern country lately has just I just really been getting caught up in the storytelling in it. Um, you know, and again, there's just there's it's a lot of lot of different things like that. Uh, two of my favorites, just like right now that I've been listening to a lot, is uh, "Drunk on You" by Luke Bryan, um, as well as "Cow Cowgirl." Shake it for me. I think that's kind of a cool song too. And uh, "Don't Take the Girl" by Tim McGraw. I think is also a, like that's an awesome song. Uh, but again, it's just you know, every now and then I get to go in these different directions, and country is kind of one place I'm going right now. And of course, I finally got a copy too of Slayers. Rain and Blood there. I mean, I've had the vinyl for a long time, but I just never ended up getting a copy of the CD, so I finally got one there. At a Goodwill the other day, I picked these two up for like 50, no, a dollar each, I think. Uh, Detroit Rock City, the soundtrack, which is really cool, as well as the Tominata. Got that soundtrack for a dollar as well. So that was... Again, that was pretty nice. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, oh, new group of 45s I picked up. I got these for a quarter each, which was really nice. And you got Tim Buck 3, The Future So Bright, I Gotta Wear Shades. You guys remember that 80s classic? And, and they, I uh, actually, I won't even go into that. From the heavy metal soundtrack, Devo, Working in a Coal Mine, as well as Planet Earth. Weird Al Yankovic's Ricky. Um, the Church, Under the Milky Way, definitely my favorite song by them. Why am I showing the back just a white sleeve? Uh, <laughs> Madonna, Into the Groove. And I actually had a copy of this, but I picked this one up, too, because every time I, I see any type of uh, single or anything of Madonna's in, Into the Groove, I'm always checking it out because I'm always looking for the version. I don't even know how to explain it. In, in like, Desperately Seeking Susan, if you look at the video for that here on YouTube, or at least one of them, there's a little something she does differently towards the end when she goes into the part where she's saying... Now I know your mind, you know, now I know your mind. And there's one at the end where she holds the word mine a little bit longer. That's the only way I can really describe it. I'm not going to sing it. Um, but most of the versions, the album, the studio album version and everything else, it's not, it's not, she doesn't do it that way. And that little five or six seconds just makes all the difference in the world to me. So I picked this up and tried it out, and it actually has that version on there. So I was really, really excited to, to finally find that. And again, maybe I'll try to, you know, cue it up sometime and share that with you guys. You know what I'm talking about. Cheap Trick to Flame, another 80s classic. Thin Lizzy, The Boys Are Back in Town and Jailbreak. New Order and Blue Faith, New, uh, I'm sorry, Blue Faith. New Order, True Faith and Blue Monday. <laughs> and then The Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. This, this is them doing Detroit Rock City, which is kind of rough, I don't know. But the B-side is, is uh, Kiss doing Detroit Rock City, which is nice. And this is on a green, clear vinyl. And then uh, Jackson Brownie, Somebody's Baby. 
Uh, it's the mono side one and then stereo side two, which was kind of neat. So those are some pretty good 45s. Like I said, I got it for about a quarter a piece. And there's actually a couple I haven't even gone through, so I'll show those in some other video. And then last but not least, I'm just going to show the two 12-inch vinyl that I got. One is this 12-inch single, Jeffrey Osborne, You Should Be Mine. One of my favorite R&B tracks from the 80s. One of my favorite R&B artists from the 80s. So it's nice to find that on 12-inch. The last one I found here in a dollar bin, which is the Sticks. This is Caught in the Act. This is a live album, double LP. Really cool, too. Um, I don't know what it is, but I really like that cover. I mean, that it's just, I'm not sure how well it's showing up, but really nice gatefold. You know, just kind of some good concert shots in there, which is really cool. A uh, lot of shots of lead singer, um, what's his name? I'm going totally brain dead now. I try not to think about him that much anymore because ever since I saw that sticks behind the music, I, I've had a, I, I hate that guy. You know, love his music, we'll always listen to him, we'll always support the you know, sticks, but I just, I just never realized how big of a dick he was um, <laughs> until I saw that behind the music. And keep in mind, I'm saying that not because I'm taking other people's word for it or like what disgruntled people will say, it was just listening to him talk about the band himself, what he thought was right, how he felt he was supreme ruler, and that, you know, his one vote should, should count more than everybody else's vote in the entire band, you know, which, I mean, just all that kind of crazy stuff, which is like, holy cow, no wonder they, everything split apart. You were an asshole. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, total jerk. Um, Dennis, I guess that's his name, I'm sorry. But anyway, that's not going to stop me from liking their music or anything. It, I just, it was just kind of interesting. But a nice, like I said, 2LP piece, nice gatefold. So that was a pretty good find for a dollar. So that was kind of a good day. I mean, I, you know, walked in, spent about $12, if you will, and picked up all that stuff. So really, really good stuff there. But anyway, that's all I had to share. I just wanted to make sure I did, uh, like I said, gave some love back to Mick and DJ Thunder. Again, I appreciate that so much, guys. Thank you. I uh, just wanted to share the few few different musical pieces that I found. All right, have a good weekend, BC. You guys be safe in whatever you're doing, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.